This new football game is free to play and it's made by the man himself Cristiano Ronaldo. And the game I'm talking about is UFL. The video you are seeing here right now is a direct gameplay of the game and the graphics of the game look insane and the game looks extremely solid. It also has an ultimate team and the release of the game is very close to us. So let's talk about this game and how this can literally kill the EA Sports FC series and how can you get your hands on it and actually try the game right now. Let's proceed. Chapter 1 The Consoles of the Game The game UFL for now is only available on the Xbox Series S and PS5. Even though there were plans of releasing this game in the old gen market, there are plans only for the new gen right now. And there is no news for PC as of now, which is sad and it's free to play so I would love to see if PC can get this but, but the new gen consoles is all you have right now. Now to play the game as soon as possible if you have an Xbox add this game to your wishlist and to make that process easy check the links in the description I've provided. Just click on those links Xbox or PS so this makes sure that you get the beta of the game whenever the game releases. Secondly you can go to their Twitter for updates and follow them to see when the beta comes out. Chapter 2 the graphics of the game looks crisp as you can see here, the lighting is something that we can compare to the current and latest edition of EA's game. Considering it's a free to play game, this looks like the best free to play game out there. The day, the night, the shadows, the backgrounds being blurred to the level of photorealism. This game looks awesome. And this stadium right here is the Sakura ground they showed on their YouTube channel. Looks like some medieval Japanese stadium. The best place where this game shines is the close up of the grass and the way the feet of the players interact with the grass. The faces of the players, even though mostly generic, still look crisp. I mean, we don't have EA level quality of hair, but that shit also costs £70 a year. So I'll be comparing this game with EA Sports FC side by side so you can get a glimpse of which one is better. A £70 recycled game or a franchise that was made for having fun. This is some short simulations. I mean, the clothes look really, really good here. I'm not gonna lie. This is where you can see how it looks up really, really close. And here is a close up of facial expressions. I believe I do see a little bit of attitude here, which is basically good that the face of the games are nice. Now let's talk about the gameplay first and then we'll come back to the graphics because they're not that important. Chapter Chapter 3 The Gameplay of the Game By far the most important thing about a football game. This is how it looks if you have a tele camera and the gameplay is smooth and runs really really well. The only thing I feel is the weightiness on how they run. It's a bit like they have like shit up their bum or something but they are again as it says on the top right that the gameplay footage is a work in progress and do not represent the final product. The weight of the ball is too light for me and the net seems to be too huge doesn't it? And I I also found a clip where we can see players hitting penalties in the game and the defensive awareness is also a bit questionable on the defender on the line here. The tackling seems absolutely clean and does not behave like FIFA at all. And so is the finishing first time short hair is something that I love since finishing in FIFA is a big big pain and animations overall feel of the game looks really really good. It's just the dribbling man. Otherwise I really like what we have here. Now there is a big subset part of the game that we need to look look out here and that is skill moves of the game. They have been done very cleanly. This is the roulette of the game and this is the rainbow flick of the game and that is the elastico chop of the game. Looks like the body faint here and that's the ball roll drag so it looks really really clean. Like it's just the weightiness of the players that I don't like but the players moving around after performing a skill move they need to manage that a little bit more but otherwise it is still an acceptable product for now. Chapter 4 the presentation of the game. Here you see that there are commentators of the game so I'm glad to see that there's a human face because AI commentators of FIFA are just too boring these days. Oh my god that's a goal right there oh my god what a goal that is a goal and a half oh my. They have commentators from many languages. It's a pile driver. Ah oh, that nicht viel gefehlt. Le coup de canon. Oh, jak there was an interesting bit in the video where they show they have made an intricate system that selects commentary for specific moments of the game. Like moments right here. Mm, so the referee has given the foul but doesn't think it deserves a card. All of the commentary in the game is selected carefully for multiple languages and moments in the game. And multiple expressions. Just look at the clip right here. Given a penalty. The ref's given a penalty. There's another thing they talk about the game that they only play one commentary only once and that's a very good feature i like that called duplicates 
We've already talked about this, I know, but looking at what it says here, it's telling us that Tactic V12 in neutral conditions but Variation 18 has already been played in the game. In other words, that means we can't play it again in this match. In FIFA, we can have the same commentary again and again, which I like they're fixed. Plus, they talk about moments that are so important for any football game. Moments that are so rare that there is no commentary for that in FIFA. And they have something for that as well. For example, this moment. Try something different. FIFA, if you have the same moment, it'll be like, oh my god, that is an own goal. They are saying that they have recorded commentaries for each and every mishap possible in a football game, and there are even cutscenes for that. Goal celebrations. What we're doing now is extending the pool, increasing the variety of cutscenes, creating more fun, more specialized versions. This game is something promising. You can't tell me that the football gaming space is not wide open now. Yeah, the graphics of the game literally look like real life sometimes. Is that an overstatement? You tell me in the comment section. Chapter 5, the developers and the community feedback. This is something that needs your attention, by the way. These guys are killing it. They are literally showing fails of their game, even though that this video is slightly old now, but you can see what the team is doing here. They want this game to be absolutely top notch. So they are showing the complete progress of their game on their YouTube channel. Since community feedback is everything in football gaming and the emphasis on actively updating the game listening to the comments and you can even see their CEO sometimes in the comment section of their Twitter asking people and what needs to be done to improve the game. This completely changes the process of making a football game. This is a different type of dynamic. It's like you guys are making the game and you are going to use it because you direct what they make a very different way of giving you guys the ownership of the game that you will play. This is happening for the first time. But do we have anything to lose here? It's literally free to play they also have made the game available for alpha testing so it's out right now but not everybody has it and they give opportunities on their discord to try out the game and take feedback this is literally the new age of game development this is not merely identifying random shit in the game but also understanding the nuances of what makes a good football game authentic and enjoyable to the audience who are actually going to play it in the end not like giving 88 rated cards in packs and making people actual addicts to their football game. Through forums, social media platforms and direct testing feedback, these developers gain power insight into player preferences, from gameplay mechanics to aesthetic details, ensuring UFL is what we want. Until now, I sound like I've been paid by UFL, but I wish it was true. But I genuinely made this video to tell you guys how much has been done and what is the hype about UFL. But there is a huge problem in the game and that is the insane number of delays this game is going through. This game was showcased two years ago and it's still not released and is confirmed to release this year. And Strikers Inc, the company, is making sure that they communicate to us regularly about the game but sharing progress updates, addressing community concerns, offering sneak peeks into the game, UFL's team has managed to keep the interest and excitement going even after so many delays in such a competitive football gaming market. This method of them developing this game is working and has become an immense immense powerhouse comparing to what it was because players literally are making the game with their feedback. If you join their discord you'll see comments of players talking about player models, improved game physics, stadium models, improved animations, player movements and that shows how it improves day by day through the comments of us and the developers then implement that feedback. Furthermore, the decision to make UFL free to play with a focus of fair to play and accessibility is a direct response of the community feedback against to another model as of we know FC, which is pay to win. The more money you spend in the game, the better you get in EA's game. But here, this approach completely democratizes the access to UFL. Everybody in the world can play, rich or poor. It's the same level playing field in the game. As UFL moves closer, to its release, the role of the community feedback will continue to be the game's main point. It represents a dynamic conversation between developers and their audience. This game is shaping into not only something that can stand out for its gameplay, but also a new standard on creating games. This relationship
relationship between strikers and its community is completely changing how games work and i am just too excited for this game whenever it comes out to see how the football gaming space changes until then if you liked watching this video click on this video right here